welcome back guys in this video i'll be showing you how to install resident evil 4 hd project mod for the pc version of resident evil 2005 that was released on steam store in 2014 this mod serves as a graphical remastered for resident evil 4 it includes enhanced textures 3d models menus cutscenes pre-rendered videos lighting visual effects and more tons of quality of life gameplay improvements are included the best part is this mod is absolutely free i'll give the link to their website in the description of this video in this video i'll be showing you the mod setup process on my rog ally and steam deck mod size is around 34.2 gb i downloaded it using a torrent there's the magnet link don't worry it's absolutely legal the mod does not include a copy of resident evil 4 you need to own the steam version of it i'll show you the games install directory steam version of resident evil 4 select the game in your steam library right click manage then click on browse local files this is the directory it includes these two folders bin32 and bio4 we just need to install the mod here extract the contents of the mod this folder is present build it includes all of the files now just execute re4 hd project setup.txt file setup wizard started click on next i accept next next again here specify the games install directory that contains the two folder these folders bin32 and bio4 same directory as you can see next download an up to date version of re4 tweaks checked next install wait for the process to complete this will take some time a bio4 backup folder has been created it will be deleted automatically after the setup process is complete the mod has been installed you can verify this very easily just open the games install directory then open bin32 folder mod file should be present here re tweaks d input 8.dll and d input 8.ini we are ready to run the game my ally is running on pass version 337 i have installed the latest stable gpu drive from amd adrenaline in version 24.3.1 i have set the uma buffer size to 4 gb I'll show you advanced settings for the game. FreeSync enable, VSync disable, anti-lag setting enable, RSR disable. Using 25 watts manual profile. All the power value set at 25 watts. CPU boost disable. I'll set the resolution to 900p. Start the game. This message will pop up. Your game executable is missing the 4GB LAA patch. Just click on yes. Patch will be installed. You can open RE Tweaks menu by pressing the F1 key. There you go. I'll stick with the default settings. Only tweak a few settings from here. Display settings. Now this game runs using Direct3D 9 API on Windows. We can switch to DXVK Vulkan Base Translation Layer by enabling this setting. DXVK provides better performance on newer hardware, not recommended on older GPUs. I will also enable show FPS setting. Tons of settings are available. Description of each setting has been provided. That's really good to see. Click on save. A restart is required. Audio settings. Change the volume from here. Restore GC sound effects. GameCube. Restore certain sound effects that were changed from the original GameCube release. Currently only changes sound of the knife, why not? Mouse settings. This mod improves the mouse and keyboard gameplay experience, but I'll be playing the game using a gamepad. Keyboard settings. Allow reload without aiming. Removes the need to be aiming the weapon before you can reload. Controller settings. Enable dead zone override. There's the slider for it. Allow reload without aiming. Enable this setting. Save. Frame rate settings. Fix QT. This fix makes QTs that involve rapid button presses much more forgiving. Replace frame limiter checked. Save. Gameplay settings. Okay, so we can disable QTs. Disables most of the QTs, making them pass automatically. Checked save miscellaneous setting access the debug menu from here skip intro logos memory settings all of them enabled hotkeys 
for the mod. Close the menu by pressing the F1 key again. Quickly restart the game. It will be running using the XVK Vulkan now. After one overlay showing that Vulkan FPS counter. Video settings resolution 900p 120Hz full screen enable. Frame is set to fix 60fps. Game does not support 120fps. Anti-lacing set to 2 times. Motion blur disabled. Shadow quality set to high. Texture quality HD. There's Leon. I am in this creepy village. Here we are getting around 60 FPS. APU power draw is around 13 watts. Total power draw is around 16 watts. You should be getting a play time of around 3 hours on a full battery. The textures are looking so sharp. Small display of Ally does not do justice to this mod. And go to the next area, execute the quick time event. Smooth experience. Background BGM is so iconic. Airy sound. I want you to perform a suplex. Go upstairs. I need to drop down. Take this route. Quick time event incoming. I won't be pressing any key. Let's see what happens. Here I'm supposed to continuously tap a specific key. It worked. It's not required to press any key. Now I'll be showing you the installation process on the Steam Deck. These are the mod files. They are present on an SD card. This does not matter. You just need to add the mods setup.exe file to your Steam library. Show you the process. Open Steam. Click on add a game. Then click on add a non-Steam game. Now click on browse. Navigate to a directory where the mod files are present. In my case, it's the SD card. Build folder. There's the exe file, double click it, make sure it's checked, then click on add selected programs, look for the setup.exe file, there it is, select it, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on compatibility, check this box, force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool, I'm using gproton version 9-2, just use the latest version of gproton, click on play, setup will start running in the background click on next I accept next next here you need to specify the games installed directory the default directory is not going to work click on browse I have installed the game on Dex internal SSD I'll open Z drive open home folder open tech folder then you need to open dot local folder open share folder scroll down until you find steam folder then look for steam apps folder there it is then open common folder here resident evil 4 should be present found it resident evil 4 double click this is the directory just click on ok the path has been specified click on next this setting check download and up to date version of re4 tricks next install wait for the process to complete some files are getting downloaded make sure tech is connected to an internet connection finally installation started installation has been completed we can verify it just open the games install directory finish open bin32 folder the mod files and folder should be present here re4 tweaks d input 8.ini and d input 8.dll in order to get the mod working we need to add a launch option to the game just select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here click on properties click on general under launch options add this command i'll give it in the description of the video you can copy it from there and paste it here i'm using gproton version 9-2 as the compatibility layer switch to steam game mode we are ready to run the game now you can remove the mod setup file from your steam library right click manage remove non-steam game from your library resident evil 4 
launch it. This prompt will show up. Your game executable is missing the 4GB patch. Just tap on yes. We are in settings. 800p resolution full screen enabled frame rate pick 60 fps anti leasing i'll just set it to off motion blur disabled as well header quality high texture quality hd i'll enable re4 tweaks menu by pressing the f1 keyboard key there you go this game runs using dxvk by default on steam deck i'll only tweak one setting from here disable qt's go to gameplay Check the setting, disable QT, that's it, click on save. Close the menu by pressing the F1 key again. Load the game, I'll keep the gameplay short. Yeah, there's Leon. We are getting a solid 60 FPS, that's really good to see. Oh no, by mistake I pressed the reload key. game is looking nice look at these textures so sharp I'll head to the next area take the shortcut kill this guy quickly good to see mod working on SteamOS as well Linux base <laughs> this guy dropped down didn't happen the last time I need to drop down take this route and go through the gate sprint quick time event incoming there's the boulder I won't be pressing any key. Enabling anti lasing in this game really increases the GPU load, that's why I disabled it at the beginning. Excellent performance. That's it for the video, guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.